Hi and welcome to Take It Out and to this the first part of my Threadripper build vlog. Now in my last main bag you'll have seen me unbox these items here, the Threadripper itself, the MSI motherboard, the Corsair memory, the Noctua heatsink and fan. I have added an RGB fan, actually two of them, because the ones in the case are starting to fail now. But there was one other thing that hadn't arrived in time for that mail bag, which has arrived now. And we're going to start off the build vlog with that item. And that is this. It is a Gigabyte GTX 1080 Windforce OC graphics card. So we're going to be unpacking this and then unboxing it. Okay then, let's get this box open and see what's inside. Let's take my little craft knife out as usual. So first of all then we've got this little flyer thing which I'm not exactly sure what it is, something about an ICER, if you don't know what an ICER is, it's uh, an investment, a UK investment type of thing. Um, not sure why that's in there but probably something to do with uh, the company I bought it off having some sort of arrangement for advertising. The usual great big huge bubble wrap. Lots of it, so very well packed. I actually bought this one from a company called eBuyer. It used to be a little bit like eBay, but uh, it's changed a lot over the years and it's now become more like an Amazon for electronics. Let's get this out anyway. I'll get rid of the box. And here we have it. Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 and this is the OC edition, the overclocked edition Windforce which means it has the three fans on it of course as with all 1080s it's VR ready and if we just switch it over to the back here you can see the three coolers and the extended cooling fan arrangement with the heat sink behind it so it cools both the main GPU and the VRMs and then it goes on to tell you a little bit more about it, but we'll get into that in a bit more detail later. And of course it shows you the diagram of where the outputs are. Next thing to do then is to get it open. No time like the present. Try not to damage the packaging if I can help it. As with all Gigabyte products it comes really well packaged and we'll open the black box and we we'll lift up the first little box inside inside here if I can get this open it's also tightly packaged I'm trying not to rip anything so you've got this great big I don't know if you can see this you got this great big box for um, the little quick user's guide, which goes off as I have it to the draw of obscurity. And the disk with all the drivers on and the software on, which I will be downloading direct from Gigabyte themselves rather than using the, the driver that comes on this disk, because it'll be probably a lot newer. These do hang about for a month or two in storage before they're sold, so uh, the software will have been updated by now. So again, that can go off out of the way as well. And we can take a look at the star of the show. And here she is. And there's nothing else in the box that I can see. No, absolutely empty, so I can put that out of the way. And now we can have a proper look at this. 
and open this up. Sorry about the crinkly noise, the anti-static bag of course. And you've got this very nice back plate with the Gigabyte logo on the back there of course. And turning it over you can see it's the Windforce model with the three fans, quite small fans, and the very long heat sink which extends the whole length, it's quite a long card, the whole length of the card there, but only a single eight pin power supply is needed for this. Nothing else on the side there or the bottom, just the main connection and the SLI at the top there. So let's have a quick look at the specifications of this, the Gigabyte GTX 1080 Windforce OC edition. First of all, it has of course got the 1080 chip, it's got 8 gigabytes of GDDR5X 256-bit memory. It has this unusual fan design where it has these little ridges which are supposed to direct the air better and push it more airflow down through the heatsink itself. Now it does support up to 60 hertz at 8K resolution, so it's full VR ready. The core clock is 1797 megahertz and the base is 1657. That's in OC mode, and the boost is 1771 with a base of 1632 in gaming mode. It does incorporate, of course, you can just see them through the fan there, the heat pipes, and these are composite heat pipes, and these heat pipes combine both thermal conductivity and phase transition for efficient managing and transfer of heat between the two solid surfaces, which increase up to 29% the cooling capacity. And they are, of course, direct touch heat pipes. The metal back plate, apart from making it look nice, also increases the rigidity of it so you don't get quite so much droop. But it is quite a heavy card, so I would imagine it may need some extra support, which I'll have to look into a little later. It does come with the software for overclocking as well out of the packet, the extreme engine they call it, and you can increase the clock speeds, voltage, and fan performance straight from the software. It also has 2560 cura cores and it's based on the 16 nanometer technology. The memory clock is set at 10,010 megahertz and as I said the memory size is 8 gigabytes on this particular card. It runs of course off the PCI 3x16, it's PCI 3 version 4. It does require for all this power of course a substantial PSU in this case a 500 watt PSU but you've got to add of course to that the needs of your motherboard and CPU so I'm going to run it on a 750 for now to see if that is adequate if not I'll be upgrading that as well and it does still of course support the SLI mode if you can afford to buy two of these so that's about it for now as I said it's uh, quite a substantial board it's quite a long board I think, if I remember right, if I quickly check the actual dimensions of it, the length of it is about, I would imagine, 12, about 12 inches, and that in European money is about 280 millimetres, or 28 centimetres. It does have this orange accent in, and that may actually give you a clue to what I'm thinking of using for my colour scheme for the new build. So there we have it for now. I will be unboxing the rest of the parts of the build over the next few days and uploading those videos as well and then we're going to have the build itself. But before that I've got to transfer the present PC into my other case and there's a bit of a surprise coming with the case I'm going to be building this new PC in. For now though, thank you for watching. So there's the box. Thumb screws. Uh, one nice little thing about these thumb screws is they do have uh, rubber grommets on them, rubber washers, uh, to help stop scratching the actual paintwork. I don't know if you can see it much there. And the doors have this nice hinged action to take them off. Make a bit of dust there. 